Wow. Wow, that was an explosion on my tongue. <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna change my mind like a thousand times in this video. It would just make me happy to see it in number one. Just say it. Exploded all over my mouth. Peeps, welcome back to another whiskey fight night. This one is a little different. Today we're gonna be comparing four different Kentucky straight bourbons finished. Let's introduce the whiskeys. First up, we have one of my favorites, Angel's Envy. This is a Kentucky straight bourbon finished in port wine barrels. It is sitting at 43.3%. Pretty good. At number two, sitting at 45.2%. It's a little different, but bear with me. Woodford Reserve Double Oat. Technically, it's finished in another oak barrel. So I say it's allowed to compete. Third up is a Thomas S. Moore that is sitting at 47.65%. This particular one is finished in Cabernet Sauvignon casks. And then this bad boy sitting at 5-0% ABV, Joseph Magnus. This one's a little different as well. It's finished in two different casks. It is finished in Sherry and Cognac casks. A little different. I'm excited. So, let's get into these drams and find out who is the dram king of finished Kentucky straight bourbons. Let's go. Getting into the first one. You still get the classic bourbon notes. You get your vanillas, your caramel. But there's an added extra deep fruit. I kind of want to say that this is one of the, this is the port finish. So I think it's the Thomas S. Moore. That one was actually pretty interesting. You got the sweetness on the tip of the tongue, a little bit of saltiness on the side of your tongue, and then the bitterness on the back of your tongue. It hit all three of those spots pretty well. You definitely got, I'm pretty sure that's the port. You definitely got the deep port wine sweetness and it's still going. Like that finish, that reminds me of a port wine. Getting into the next one. A little lighter on the nose. It's less interesting on the nose for sure. But there is still that port wine sweetness that I got from the first one. I'm going to go back to the first one real quick. This one, like I said, had a lot of bitter on the back of the tongue. Not saying it's bad. It's like a good bitter. But... This one was a little less dramatic on the nose, especially with like all the wood and the sweetness. But on the palate, this had no bitter on the back of the tongue, where this one had loads. So I'm thinking this one is the double oat. Yeah, I think that might be the Woodford Reserve. And I think this one might be the Thomas now. Let's move on. I feel like I'm gonna change my mind like a thousand times in this video. All right, let's move on to number three. I'm getting a lot more uh, light citrusy notes, kind of like a, like orange. Is Cognac orange? Like a orange liqueur? Definitely should have looked this one up before. It is a specific type of brandy produced from distilled white wine, light, Since it's so bright, I want to say that this is the Joseph. Woo! Wow. Wow, that was an explosion on my tongue. What it reminded me of is bubbly champagne. When it hits your mouth, it kind of like tingles and bubbles. That's what this did. That was super interesting. This is really good. I almost want to say this takes number one. There's a lot to explore in that. <sighs> All right, we're getting to the... <coughs> oh, fucking cashew. Oh, that went down. Oh, that like shot right in my throat. Stupid. All right, getting into the last one. This aligns more with 
what I assume is the Thomas Cabernet finish. You get your brown sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and a, a, you do get that darker sweetness, like a <clears throat> what I assume is the port wine. Wait, didn't I say this was the port wine? Oh, shit. This one's lighter and sweeter. This one's a deeper sugar note. So if I did say that that was port, this is port. This seems like a darker <clears throat> sugar tone than this one. This one seems a little lighter. Yeah, I think this is the Cabernet, which is the Thomas. I don't know why I associated port with Thomas. I'm pretty sure I did. That's wrong. That is a solid bourbon that's accented with a wine finish. I, I'm pretty sure that's Angel's Envy, and I'm pretty happy about that one. This one goes here, this one goes here. Wait a minute. On the nose, this one is hitting me a lot more with like a wood spice on my nose. Those two swapped. This one had a richer, deeper finish to it, but the initial palette was kind of lacking on the, uh, on the tongue, where this one kind of exploded all over the tongue a little bit. A lot more with the bourbon notes. I don't know, it's better. Wow, that one's, that one's really deep. Dark, oaky notes. This one's very vibrant. <clears throat> Oh, oh. I'm almost sure that that is double oat. That one definitely stays where it is. And if I remember correctly, this one kind of explode, exploded all over my mouth. If I remember correctly, this one exploded all over my tongue. That still sounded bad. This one definitely explodes on the palate. Like... There's so much to explore on this. This is definitely a special dram. At fourth place, we have number alpha. Ooh, that one kind of hurts. Oh, that is a go-to. This is actually a new bottle that I just bought. I've went through a couple of these. It is definitely a good drinker that I go to. In third place, Charlie Thomas S. Moore. Finished in Cabernet. At number two, we have B. Woodford Reserve Double Oat. Pretty sure I called that one. That one definitely had a lot of wood notes that I'm a big fan of. And that means the Dram King of today, of all Kentucky, not necessarily all, but of this round of Kentucky Straight Bourbons finished is Joseph Magnus. I'm pretty happy about that. Let me know down below in the comments section whether you think I got this right, completely wrong, if you think Angel's Envy should've got first, Thomas S. Moore should've got first, or Woodford Reserve should've got first, let me know. Make sure you like the video. As always, may the roof above us never fall in, and leave friends beneath never fall. Cheers, guys. It's all the wood. It's got all the wood. So much wood. All of it. The bark, the insides, the outsides, light.